about you, but I think it's finally time to decorate my castle. It's been quite a while since I've walked through this place, so let's go on a little refresher tour and decide what to put in each room. First things first, I need to grab some signs from my secret battle basement that absolutely nobody knows about. This most secret hidden place on the entire server. Let's just go down here, close the door so nobody knows, and we'll grab some signs. Okay, okay, okay. Out of the secret battle basement. Now, this is the main hallway of the castle, the main entrance. I don't know how to decorate this besides maybe some little tables because it's not really that big. So we're just gonna like not name this. Actually, we are. Hallway. <laughs> okay, now I know that I want this to be like the feast hall, the dining room, just because it's so grand. I think it's one of the biggest buildings. Buildings? Rooms in this building? <laughs> So I think it makes sense to have like a big table with chairs and stuff in here. So let's call this dining hall. Then there actually is like this little tower here. Um, it's a very random room. So maybe we can just have this as storage or a secret lookout. Maybe we could put like a little ladder up there and then you could peek out the window to see who's coming. That could be cool. As we leave the future dining hall. Oh, I want this to be the throne room. Ta-da. I know it's a little small in here, but I think this would make an adorable throne room. It's right across from the main entrance of the castle, so when people visit, it'll be the first thing they see. Now next to the throne room, we can go upstairs, but we should probably stay down here first. This is such an awkward space. Though we do need a kitchen, and this is right across from the dining hall. <gasps> kitchen. Now, if I remember correctly, there is like a random space under the stairs here. Oh, that's not good. I've exposed my secret. Uh, hold on one moment. You see nothing? Nothing's happening. I need a piece of spruce wood. Okay, so here's like a little random room under the stairs. And since this is right off the kitchen, this could be where they store the food. Okay, next we have this room with broken, what, what, ha what happened? What? What? <gasps> I don't even have windows back here. Oh my gosh, there's pillagers. Oh my goodness. There's not even windows here. Oh my gosh. What? How did I forget to add windows? Okay, okay, listen, it's dark out, it's dark out. Hold on, we sleep and we fix. Ah, that's better. Back to what we were doing. Um, We need to figure out what this room is gonna be. Now I do want a library and a living room. I think I want a music room and like a little garden sunroom kind of area. I don't know where any of these things are gonna go. Um, Obviously, <laughs> duh, we're doing that right now. So hold on, this would be kind of a cool sunroom because there's a lot of windows, but is there one with more windows? This is a hallway of nothingness. Okay, hold on. Wait, I want to go outside to the other part of the castle. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, so I know for a fact that I want this room up here to be the meeting room. So this could be like the meeting room and map room. And I know above it, I really wanted this space to be my bedroom. <gasps> Look how cute this room is. I love it. Now, let's see. We have this space right here that I was thinking could also be a sunroom. And I was thinking that because I could put like holes in the ceiling to have even more light than the room downstairs. So maybe we should make this the sun and plant room. Okay, then downstairs, this room over here could be a simple living room. But I think I'm gonna have multiple living spaces, so this could just be like one of a couple. Down the hallway from this sunroom is this over here, which is actually quite large too. Um, and this actually overlooks the dining hall. Since this is kind of a big space, maybe this could be like a kind of party gathering music area. Like we could have a piano and stuff. The last room on this floor is right over here and it's kind of small. So we're gonna make this a second bedroom. Just like this tiny tower area I showed you earlier, um, there are a couple of places like that in this castle that I just, I just don't think that they're worth decorating because they're so small. So the last room that I want to decorate is right up these beautiful dirt stairs. <laughs> Hold on, let's just go up here and you'll see 
at least in my opinion, one of the prettiest rooms in the castle. Don't, don't worry about the random hole in the roof. Um, <laughs> I will fix that. But look at how pretty this is. There's windows everywhere and it's one of the tallest parts of the castle so you can look out everywhere. I just, I think it's super cool. And I wanna make this the library. Okay, now I do have some stuff in my storage room to decorate this place, but I feel like I'm gonna need some more. So, as most of you know, there was a big hermit empire and I'm pretty sure everybody already kind of uh -uh, looted that area after they left. But I think we should head on over anyway to see if there's anything that I could use. By the way, this is not stealing. I got permission. If there's anything good to bring back, I feel like we should bring a bunch of shulker boxes to store it all. Um, but I have to put all this stuff away. Hold on. All right, I'm ready to go. Okay, now. Which portal is closest to that area? Can <gasps> Why is there a sheep in the nether? It is my obligation to save this sheep. Hold on, we're taking a quick detour. I need to get a lead. There we go. Hello, I have returned. I am saving you from this evil place. Let's go. Come on, you don't wanna stay here, it's creepy. Come on, come on. To the portal, ha. Come here. <gasps> Hello! Welcome to Glimmer Grub. This is your new home. Oh my gosh. Okay. Let's um for now let's put you in a safe place, okay? Until I have a proper place for you, you can stay in here with your horse friends. Look at your little face! I wanna name it Glimmer. Do I have a name tag? Probably not. Name tag. No, name tag, no, name tag, no. How do I seriously not have a name tag? <gasps> wow, sorry for that gasp. I just got really excited. <laughs> I have a name tag. We're going to name it Glimmer. Oh, here you go. Okay. Uh. I just got really distracted. So now let's head on over to the Hermit Empire. <laughs> I have arrived. Okay, what's the best way to get into this place? Um, well, I don't want to break any of the glass. I know it's being preserved, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna dig a little hole, like a mole. I'm breaking that way. All right, I'm gonna put my shulker boxes down and we're gonna take a little peek, a little nosy. To see what the <gasps> what the heck? No, they can't have this. I'm sorry. This is mine. Okay, now let's see. Uh, oh, oh. Uh. Are these all empty? Um. Oh no, there's some beehives. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Oh, flowers. <gasps> what the heck is with the sheep killing? Sheep's are friends, not enemies. <gasps> glass! I love glass. I'm taking those. Got some doors. <gasps> Books? Ooh, looting three. <gasps> I'm ending book. Stop. <gasps> Fortune three. Stop. Oh my goodness. Those are pretty good. <laughs> what else? There's nothing in here. There's nothing in here. There's nothing in here. <gasps> I love quartz. <laughs> the majority of this place was actually pretty empty. Like every barrel was either empty or had like one or two items in them. But I still think I got some pretty cool things. I got some of this, some of this, and some of this. Granted, these aren't the most useful items to decorate a castle, but I'm still gonna take them. We're home. Hi, Glimmer. I gotta find a better place for my new sheep friend, but for now, it's time to decorate. Starting with the dining hall, I wanna make this table big enough to fit everyone on the server. This is gonna look a little messy, but I need to break the floor. Um, I know you can see it down here. Don't worry about it, we'll fix it later. Got it. Starting with the chairs, we'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Wait, there's 13 of us. 
13 doesn't really fit the vibe of this room. Uh, we're gonna put another chair. <gasps> I'm gonna put one in the corner. Someone's gonna sit in the corner all by themselves. I'm sorry. <laughs> How did this happen? But <gasps> what? Since when can you do this? Since when can you swim under pistons? I learned something new today. On the table, I wanna add a bunch of item frames. And then in the item frames, we can add a bunch of different food. Then with the help of some stone pressure plates, we can make them look like dishes. Since we're technically on the dead or lack of color side of my castle, we gotta decorate with some dead bushes and some black candles. I did have the idea to have some hanging plants in here, but then, uh, like I just said, I remembered that this is the dark, no color part of my castle. So instead of hanging plants from the ceiling, we can hang dripstone. Very pretty. <laughs> but actually this doesn't look too bad for a room without color in it. Since I can't really fit much else in here though, it's time to work on the throne room. For the throne, we can start by adding a pink bed with a pink piece of wool on top. And then if we hang a banner, it looks like a chair. But now for the rest of the throne, we can add some quartz blocks, a couple of stairs, and a full block on top. Ta-da! Hold on, wait a minute. I want to raise it up by a block. <laughs> now on the floor, we can add a little bit of mixed carpet. And you're probably wondering why I made a giant base at the bottom of the throne. And well, that's because I want to display all my riches. Behold. The Princess of Glimmer Grove. That's me. In my beautiful new throne room. I love it. But now it's time to work on the sunroom. In the middle of the room, I think I want to make a big couch. And then along the sides of the room, we can pot a bunch of flowers. <gasps> we should make some hanging from the ceiling. I need chains. This is gonna look so cute. They like the best plants to use in the hanging pots are the fluffy ones. So we could add some ferns, some of these, and azaleas. And over here, we can add a grass block with the sunflower. This is so pretty. But now it's time to work on my bedroom. Since this room is really open and there aren't any salt flat walls to build up against, I think it'd be fun to put a canopy bed right in the middle. <laughs> uh... This bed is a lot bigger than I thought it would be, but that's okay. It's a grand canopy bed, fit for a princess. By adding some slabs on the back of the bed, we can make a little desk or vanity area. We could add some plants, maybe a crystal. And then the other thing I want to do was add a bunch of leaves. Okay, what do we think? Do we like it? I think it's adorable. Oh, I almost forgot. Even though these are technically dead sheeps. I wanted to put them in my room because I think they're cute. For this map and meeting room, I want to have a table in the middle with a map of my area. And then I thought it'd be really fun if all around the room, we can display maps of all the other empires. So let's go ahead and put a table right here. We could add a bunch of chairs to each side, figure out how this map goes together. And then we can add a crystal and a compass. Okay, now that we have my map, it's time to get 12 more. I did it. First, this is Jimmy's area. This is Joey's area. This is Sausage. This one is Shelby's. This one's Gems. And this one's Ollie's. That looks cool. But okay, now we have to do this side. This, oh, I think this is Pix. This is False's. This is Scott's. This one's Joel's. This is part of Flip's. And then Lizzie. Now that we finished this room, I'm gonna go decorate the others real quick and then I'll show you when I'm done. The decorating has been done. Let's go on a tour. So as you already know, this is the outside of my castle. It's very pretty, I like it a lot. But now when we go inside, there's stuff to look at. Even though this is just a hallway, I put a few decorations to kind of fill out the space a little bit. This is my throne room. Then to the right, we have the dining hall with the big table, all the food and decorations and the dead plants. <laughs> to the left, we have the kitchen. So we have all this stuff over here. We have all this food. There's chicken cooking on the stove. We got a bunch of baby furnaces. And back here, we have the food storage. Over here, we have one of the living rooms, which I think is so cute. I love purple couches. But besides that, we have a fuzzy rug, a little table in the middle. We got a couple of books 
books and decorations and obviously plants. I didn't do anything with this hallway. Uh, so I'm probably just gonna leave it like that. <laughs> this is our beautiful sunroom. Is this not so pretty? Ah, look, I even made a little sunflower carpet. Well, kind of. They kind of look like they're floating, but I'm pretending it's the trim to my carpet. Besides the sunroom, we have the meeting room with all of the empire's maps. Above that, we have my bedroom. Then if we go this way, we have another living room with a piano, some chairs, a couple of different plants and such, because this room is actually in the split section. So half of it is dark and half of it is light. Over here, we just have a simple bedroom. And then if we go all the way upstairs, we have the library this room is so pretty but okay i think that's everything that i did today let me know in the comments which room is your favorite and i'll see you next time